Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Roy Cropper of Coronation Street was severely shocked to be sentenced to prison for a crime he did not commit. And despite being out of jail for some time, he is still feeling the effects. As the main suspect in the Lauren Bolton case, Roy was taken to jail. He was the last person to see Lauren alive, and he afterward displayed suspicious behavior by attempting to tidy Lauren's apartment, where blood was eventually discovered. Roy's characteristic candor only served to put him in more and more trouble during police interrogation, as each seemingly innocent activity now seemed, in retrospect, to be the conduct of a guilty man. He had a terrible time in prison as he was attacked in his cell. It makes sense that the poor man has a great deal of trauma to digest and that his friends have been concerned about him because he hasn't left his apartment much since being released. Thus, Shona Platt, Julia Golding, Nina Lucas, Molly Gallagher, and Yasmin Nazir, Shelley King, devise a scheme wherein Shona calls in sick, forcing Roy to don his apron once more and assist Evelyn Plummer in the calf. This works, but Roy soon has another setback. Roy gets called names by a group of thugs as he is on his way to deliver soup to Shona, whom he still thinks is sick. Bewildered and terrified, he staggers to the ground. When Carla Connor sees this, she runs over and discovers that Roy is clearly in pain. Later, when Shona and Nina are chatting on the corner, an ambulance drives by and pulls up outside the cat. Shaken, they rush over and discover Roy on the ground receiving CPR from the paramedics. After being taken to the hospital quickly, he passes out and back to awareness. He informs Nina, in a moment of clarity, that he had a guest by his bed as he slept. Roy is convinced that the person was there and lingered for a while before vanishing, despite Nina's concerns that it could be a hallucination. With whom has he seen? Is this an actual person? Or is it a product of the horrific shocks he's experienced this year? Fans of Coronation Street have been gripped by a devastating development. Toya Battersby's pregnancy was revealed. After experiencing excruciating stomach pains tonight, Toya was taken to the hospital and shortly found out she was expecting a child. It happens shortly after Toya, who had been through a difficult few months, sought comfort in the arms of her sister's husband, Nick Tisley. After being attacked by the child's father, Toya gave birth in secret, and the authorities discovered the infant buried in the neighboring park a few years ago. Lean joined her in the melancholy sights as she placed a yellow flower at the grave. But when Toya learned that she was pregnant tonight, she was both shocked and ecstatic. Fans, on the other hand, believe they have discovered a major twist and have taken to Twitter to discuss the plot. I thought Toya could be pregnant with Nick's baby, a fan commented. But if my memory serves me well, can Toya get pregnant? I recall her Ivy narrative with Susie. Another person retorted, Oh my gee, I forgot about that. If she is indeed pregnant, though, what a miracle. Another fan expressed their assessment. Who would have thought that Toya was expecting an ectopic pregnancy? A fourth fan, however, stated, I don't believe Toya is pregnant. The pregnancy is ectopic. A fifth person said, So Toya gets knocked up by Nick and ends up suffering an ectopic pregnancy. After years of thinking she's infertile, I assume that's the plot in any case. My money's on Toya having an ectopic pregnancy. A sixth person commented, Actor Enrys Cooper, who plays Rowan, has hinted at what's to come and cautioned Toya to be careful. She is starting to irritate him, he stated. He has access to a great deal of extremely private information from Lean's upload, as well as perhaps illicit activity. It might become darker, but he has a lot of tools at his disposal. She needs to be mindful of her surroundings. He likes to manipulate and blackmail people, so he has some experience with it. He sees it as a fun 
and I don't believe he is afraid of Toya yet. He seems resigned to it, despite how annoying it is. He continued, warning that there would be twists and turns ahead, and that things would only get worse. There will undoubtedly be more twists and turns ahead, making it dark. Though Rowan defends himself by saying he's acting in Lean and Amy's best interests, there are some unpleasant events ahead. But if I had divulged a great deal about my past to someone like Rowan, I would undoubtedly feel a little uneasy. It should be taken into consideration that it might be utilized against Lean and Amy. Following the news that Roy Cropper will be facing more difficult circumstances in future scenes, Coronation Street viewers have delivered a strong message to the show's executives. However, rumors regarding Lauren Bolton's comeback have also been sparked by news about the beloved character's impending ITB soap opera storyline. Since being suspected of being the cause of Lauren's inexplicable departure from Weatherfield on February 23, when she was fired by Roy from her position at Roy's Rolls, Roy has had a difficult and upsetting start to the year. Though she hasn't been seen or heard from since, shocking flashback scenes that aired in May revealed what transpired prior to her departure. The first piece of information came to light when Joel was approached by Hope Stape on the street and she gave him a necklace that she had discovered in his car while cleaning it. The jewelry was instantly recognized by viewers as belonging to Lauren. Subsequently, a retrospection video exposed him as Lauren's covered boyfriend, viciously assaulting her with a chair leg. Joel is able to continue living his life normally, though, and he is currently getting ready to tie the wedding with Fee and K.D.D. D. Bailey because Nathan Curtis is the person suspected of killing Lauren. While serving his time in prison, Roy was lured to the prison library, where Griff Reynolds ambushed him and threatened to kill him unless he wrote a confession claiming he had killed Lauren while he was holding a knife to his throat. Despite being released from prison for the crime he did not commit, Roy is still having difficulties. Before help arrived, a sobbing Roy was saved, and after tearful moments, the beloved character from the soap opera was freed from jail. The following week, as Roy tries to get back to his regular life after his ordeal in prison, he is seen leaving the cafe to bring some homemade soup to Shona Platt. However, as he leaves, a group of thugs yell at him, causing him to stagger to the ground. Though it is obvious he is in pain, Carla Connor comes to his rescue. Roy later sends Shona and Evelyn Plummer packing after she confesses that the illness was a ruse to get him back into the cafe. A little while later, outside, Shona is explaining to Nina Lucas what transpired as they race to the cafe where Roy was receiving CPR when an ambulance comes around the corner. At Roy's hospital bedside, there is a visitor. His guest remains by his bedside and then vanishes as he fades in and out of awareness. When Roy informs Nina about his unexpected guest, she questions whether he's having hallucinations. Who is it he believes he has seen when secrets were revealed? Corey fans reacted enthusiastically to the information about Roy's impending medical fight. Someone said, man, can we not leave Roy alone for two minutes? Christ's sake, hasn't Roy been through enough? Inquired another. A third person said, oh no, not again. Are they getting ready to write him off completely? Really? I hope not. Oh no, not Roy again, Corey. Give him a break, wrote another commenter. Poor Roy. I hope Joel gets caught out, a fourth person commented. I hope the writers are not thinking of killing Roy off. Another person said, please give Roy some space and allow him to reclaim his identity. Still, some believe Lauren's comeback could be triggered by his medical stay. Someone remarked, it will be Lauren. And someone else responded, Lauren, I think there have been posts saying he gets a visitor, but Nina thinks he's hallucinating. A third person wrote, I believe Lauren pays him a visit. Deaf a Lauren, because that's who the storyline is about, exclaimed a different admirer. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel 
And don't miss any updates.